Okay, welcome back to another session with Shantavia J. Esquire, Shantavia Johnson, patent intellectual property attorney extraordinaire. Uh, and she's sharing with us these series, we're doing a whole series on inventors and patent uh, creators or patent makers, because it's important that we understand the value that we put into the world. And the world needs to know. So who are we gonna be talking about now, Shantavia? Thank you. I'm excited. I'm so excited about this one because this person is still alive. We often talk about black inventors as if they're things that happened a long time ago. This is a black woman named Marion Rogers Croak. Marion Rogers Croak. She is still alive. She was born in 1955. How do you spell Croak? Croak, uh, C-R-O-A-K. C-R-O-A-K. And she is the vice president of engineering at Google. Oh. She is one of the, the most senior ranking black women at Google. Google has what, 200 or 300,000 employees. She's one of the most senior ranking black women at Google. And what does she do? So tell me about her. And I never heard of her until today. So let me just, again, I can't thank you enough um, for doing this because media they tend to you know lean into the same people all the time mm -hmm. you know we get the same people the same five people pushed in front of us so we only think it's only five people doing stuff you know <laughs> and it's not the case so marion rogers cloak is a powerful woman that i never heard of until today and that's a shame because i do radio every day i should know who she is so i'm a little miffed but i'm also happy that you did this so tell me who who this woman is and what she's done okay. All right, so Marion Rogers Croak is the reason you and I are talking to each other right now. The, the technology that we're using is called VoiceOver IP, and she is credited as being the developer of VoiceOver IP, and that stands for VoiceOver Internet Protocol. But basically, what VoiceOver IP is, is the way that you can communicate using voice calls without using a telephone line. It's the way you have a voice call, a media call using the internet. So instead of using phone lines, using the internet. And so you so, so FaceTime, when you FaceTime voice call without the FaceTime, voice the internet. That's exactly right. FaceTime, Skype, Google Hangouts, all the things we're using right now to connect with each other because we're mostly stuck at home is because of the technology invented by a black woman who's still alive named Marion Rogers Croak. Wow. wow. So where is she from? So born in Pennsylvania, she spent many of her years at AT&T, is now at Google. And she was really a, a sage, if you will, about the internet. When the internet first started becoming popular in the probably late 80s, early 90s, really started gaining some traction publicly she predicted that the internet was going to explode. So this is a time where we were using telephone lines to communicate with folks and fax lines and that kind of thing. Faxes. Did you have a fax, Shantavia? No, ma'am. <laughs> Never like a machine, no. <laughs> I still have a fax, but I haven't used it in about five years. So I'll just say that. Okay. Right. I have a fax number, but it goes over the internet. So it's probably based on some of this technology too, actually. <laughs> Hilarious. Wow, you just took me back. I remember when all we did was fax. Yep, that's yeah. exactly right. And so she is the reason why we can speak to each other without using those types of technologies. She saw the internet and what the possibilities could be. And she said at AT&T back then, we need to start developing technology that is going to transform the internet. And what she developed was fundamentally what became voiceover IP. And she has, if you can believe it, Karen, so I know you're gonna ask me about her patent number. And the reason I can't give you just one is that she has more than 200 patents and patent applications, what? including about 100 related to voiceover IP. And she really probably has more like 300 or so patents and patent applications. It's a little bit complicated the way they figured that out. But she's got more than 100 patents alone around voiceover IP. So she's got to be breaking some records or something. I don't know who has the most as a Black woman, but she's got to be up there. 
Why isn't she a household name? Marion Rogers Cloak should be a household name. She should have been on a cover of Jet and Essence and Ebony. She should, I mean, your your 300, 200 patents of black yeah. women in America is the reason why we're on Zoom or on Skype or on you know, FaceTime voice voice. But I'd never heard about her till today. Media, y'all got to do better. Yep. I'm, I'm talking to me too. We got to do better. Um, I think I am doing better though, because I have Shantavia Johnson who is making <laughs> sure that we know stuff. And this is the thing, you know, you, you know, people, we're not in a vacuum. We can't know everything. We can't do everything. But together, collectively, we can. We can do all things, right? And I think that that's kind of what that scripture. We can do all things when we come together. So you know stuff I don't know. So you're bringing it. I got this platform. You're bringing it. Now, everybody who's on here knows, and hopefully they'll spread it. Hopefully somebody will be inspired. Somebody will say, hey, I know Marion Croak. I worked under her. She inspired mm -hmm. me to do this. And maybe, you know, that that's how we pass this baton around because we're, we're going to be the ones to tell the story. And if we don't, nobody will know. So we Amen. have to be doing this. So there's another thing about Marion Rogers Croak that you have to know too. And l let me ask you a question first. Have you ever used your phone to donate money have you ever texted to donate donated a uh, grip to to heather b well i did that a couple of months ago heather mm -hmm. b um who's on radio on, on sirius xm on she got like three shows i donated um, when she had that whole campaign too <laughs> yeah yeah okay good i mean because she's she's donated she's given um homeless shelters women in particular you know all kinds kinds of goods and services and things that they need and she's physically taking it there so you know i did that over my phone yep Yep. Yeah, so Marion Rogers Croak is the reason that you texted to donate. The reason you could donate via text is by Marion Rogers Croak. She pioneered the use of using your cell phone to donate during, you know, whenever people have these public appeals for money or whatever. She was oh, the wait, person. Wait, hold on, Shantavia. You could donate to this experience right here. Right here in the description is my cash app number. And that's because we're honoring, you'll be honoring Marion Rogers Croak. I don't normally do that, but it just seems appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use her technology to donate to this channel right now. That's it. support black women. <laughs> I loved it. Wow, that that's so powerful. Yeah. So in in the early two thousands, you I'm sure remember we weren't really text messaging that much, and when you did, you had to like if you wanted to type words, you had to punch a button. You had to punch like the number two, three or four times to get the letter E and all of that. And so she saw this happening again. She's a visionary. And at the time, this was like maybe 2001 or two or so, American Idol, people were voting for American Idol and trying to figure out how to vote. And American Idol was really the first kind of public entity that allowed people to vote by text. And that also was a Marion Rogers Croak um, vision. And after she did that, she realized there are these other ways you can use texting that can really be transformative. So when Hurricane Katrina hit in, uh, what was this, 2000, what year was Hurricane Katrina? 2005, four or five? Four or five, yeah, uh, hold on. No, I, I think it was 2005, 2005. I know it was 2005, yes. She saw the potential in 2005 to use texting to, to create donations for charity. And so she created a platform that allowed people to, don to donate to these Hurricane Katrina relief funds in 2005. They did it again in 2010 when that hurricane hit uh, Haiti, $22 million donated to relief efforts when the hurricane hit Haiti, or not hurricane, but it was earthquake, hit Haiti in 2010. And so she is the reason that we can do those things too. She has been a visionary as it relates to using technology to solve people's problems. Wow, that man, look, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. You know, I, I, I get up, I have joy in my heart because, you know, I get to talk to people every day. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really not just about talking. It's about, you know, there's so many things that you want to share. There's so many things that you want people to know. You know, and we, we're in this political cycle where everyone wants to talk politics. And, and, no, this is foundational. This knowledge is something that we can build on. And to know that there's a woman out there with more than 200 patents who is the reason why we're able to do this, donate money and all of that. If we don't tell these stories to our children at bedtime, if we don't make a children's book out of this woman, if we don't make sure that she's honored in ways that, you know, every NAACP award 
why was, you know, like, hello, NAACP, Marion Rogers Pope needs to be uh, honored, like yesterday. I'm just gonna put it out there. No, you're right. The same way Alexandra Graham Bell, Thomas Edison get all these awards, Marion Rogers Croak should too, and she's alive. We can talk to her. We can learn from her right now. Man, you, you, know, you know I'm reaching out, right? You know I'm gonna reach out. I have to sit down. I've had this vision of, of talking to, you know, great people as kind of like this chronicler. You know, you look at people like Ida B. Wells across the country to, to mm -hmm. share people's stories. And it was stories of horror, stories of rapes and lynchings. I want to give stories of hope, you know, and I want to sit at the feet of people who have stories to share. So you're giving me the breadcrumb to now go chase and follow as a journalist. And I want to sit with Marion Rogers Croak and make sure that, uh, her entire story gets told through her through her mouth since she's here. I remember when Katherine Johnson, you know, um, turned 96, you know, and it was like a big deal. This is before Hidden Figures came out and no one really knew who she was. And I was talking about her on the radio before there was a Hidden Figures movie or any project uh, related to that because I saw a video somebody shared with me of this woman talking about charting the course. I was like, how come people don't know Katherine Johnson? Now we all know who Katherine Johnson is, thank God. But we had to wait until she was in her 90s to really, and you know what I'm saying? And she's been around in her 50s, her 60s. Her, nobody was talking to her. I don't want that to happen to, to anybody like that again, because mm -hmm. we have the wherewithal to do that. So keep digging out the gems, Shantavia. Find the next gem. Find the next person that we can talk to that's alive. I like the, the uh -huh. people who are ancestors too, but th these live ones are good. Like the Super Soaker guy. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. Mm -hmm. Lonnie Johnson. Lonnie yeah. Johnson in Atlanta. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what's next on your plate, Shantavia? What else are you working on? What business are you building? Whose oh. life is you, are you changing? Hopefully changing many people's lives. So my goal for two, 2020 is to help 2,000 people start their businesses. So I, I have a business. The name of the program that I'm using that teaches people how to start their business is called the Brand and Business Academy. I am accepting new members each and every day. And essentially I walk people from ground zero. So from the moment you have an idea, the Brand and Business Academy helps you lay the right foundation in five weeks. So this is not, you know, like a one year long course or this or that, this is five weeks from the moment you have that idea. I help people start their business the right way so that they own their intellectual property, so that they know that they've taken all the right steps and they're connecting with the right people. So that is what is on my horizon right now. It's on the agenda. I've been doing this all 2020 because I believe in it. I'm like you, I want to change people's lives. I don't want to complain about the administration or the this and the that. We have to take care of ourselves. We have to save ourselves and that's what I want to do. Amen, amen. So where do people go to if you're starting a business and this is a good time to start a business you know it's a good time to to look into things you weren't thinking about before didn't think you had the time to do this is a good time to to do that where do people go to get the brand in the business academy extraordinaire information and experience where do they go so brand and business academy.com is where you can find it you can find me at shantavia.com and let me just say, now is the perfect time to start a business. When you look at history, some of the greatest inventions, particularly from Black inventors, has come during times of necessity, times of great need, during slavery, right after slavery, when we were just really figuring out how to exist in this country and not be considered chattel property, the Great Depression, the civil rights movements. Many of our greatest inventors created the thing they were going to create during that time. Many of the Black America's greatest entrepreneurs have created out of times of necessity just like this. So this is really, in my opinion, the best time to start a business. I love it. I love it. So if you're starting a business, go take Shantavia's class, five weeks. The brand and businessacademy.com is where you go. Follow her on all social media platforms at Shantavia, S-H-O-N-T-A-V-I-E. No, V-I-A. You got it. E-S-Q. <laughs> J-E-S-Q. I should have let you do it. S-H-O-N-T-A-V-I-A-J-E-S-Q -E on all social media platforms and Shantavia.com on the website. You're amazing. Perfect. I appreciate you. And Marion, 
Rogers quote, I'm going to be calling. I'm reaching out. Please, 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 please. Thanks for being here. Thank you, as always, Karen. I, I so appreciate your work. Well, thank you. And subscribe to the channel, y'all. And give the thumbs up. Like it, too. Like everything that we're doing, because it's important. All right. We'll see you next time, Shantavia. Thank you. All right. Thank you.